What if you could know exactly what your service team was doing at any given moment? Because of neon, zinc can. Now this isn't just important in like a creepy stalkerish kind of way. Think about it like this. The more efficient an agency can be, the more profitable it is. Efficiency. Efficiency is created in a number of different ways, but it starts with understanding the friction points with your process, between your people, and because of your organizational structure. I remember working in my family agency and there were six people on the service team with the title account manager. Each account manager was responsible for roughly a sixth of the total business written, give or take obviously. Those with more larger accounts had slightly less and those with more smaller accounts had slightly more. But here's the important part, here's the takeaway. Each account manager, each person was responsible for every single task, no matter what it was. Requests, requotes, uh, random phone calls, questions, requests from the carriers, certificates, whatever it was, any task that was generated from one of their accounts, they were responsible for completing. Now, while Zinc worked in a similar fashion when they first started, had less people, as they grew, Seth realized that that organizational structure was actually slowing his agency down. So what you're gonna find in terms of organizational structure at Zinc is not account management, but rather relationship management and order fulfillment. Efforts that fall under relationship management would be things that take a little longer and require some sort of human interaction with the customer or carrier. Order fulfillment, on the other hand, are quick things that get done like so here's again, uh, just to slice it by order fulfillment. So those again, are for the people that are new to the group, uh, those are our people that are work from home employees that just really uh, bang out the changes, um, uh, issue the documents, the ID cards, the certificates, right? So. Okay, pause. Because I think what you're thinking right now, I think what you're thinking is, Sid is about to tell me that I need to completely reorganize my structure, organizational structure in my agency. No, that's not the point of this. I am definitely not some expert who's t trying to tell you what to do on how to run your business and what type of hierarchical structure works best for you. I'm not arguing in favor of one or the other. What I'm impressed by is meeting an agency that's equipped to experiment with process, people, structural changes in order to improve efficiency. To do that, you have to be able to set a baseline and measure against it. Imagine if someone asked you to go out and just run three miles. You might be like, screw that. I am not going out and running three miles. You go out and run three miles. But let's just say that you did it. And then when you got back, they said, great job. Now, go run three miles again, but this time, keep your arms tighter and land on your heels. Yeah, what's another three miles? And then you get back, and you realize none of it was timed. I'm sorry, how would you know which one was better? How would you objectively know which three miles you ran faster? On a good clip, they're getting it done in about a day and a half. We started, when we started in this process a year and a half ago, we were at 2.8 or 2.7 or... 2.8, yeah. 2.8. So in a year and a half, we've gone from 2.8 turnaround time to 1.7, and we will go further. We'll show you how. Yeah. Because of that behavioral data. Mm, there it is. Ooh, it just, it, just, like, it just rolls off your tongue. Behavioral data. Because Seth can see what actions his team is performing, who's performing them, and how long things are taking, he can set a baseline, make changes, and then see if those changes improved or hurt efficiency. It's like a whole new world just opened up. Now Seth was able to move the average consumer wait time needle down 24 hours. 24 hours. Guys, that is so hot. We're not talking about shiny objects here that you got to go buy. Like this is actually affecting 
a, a consumer's life. And if he could get it down 24 hours, can we get it down more than that? Can we, what if we could make this, what if we could make the average consumer wait time like two hours or two minutes? Okay, I might be getting a little excited here, but at least now that we objectively know where we sit, we can go back and understand what what's causing friction. Why can't we get it down lower? And then fix those things, measure against it, and see if it works. Ooh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Here's the other piece of this equation. You might be thinking, but Sid, I don't work on an island. My efficiency is often determined by my partner's efficiency. And because we haven't had enough insight in the past on what that actually means, the, the conversation typically ends there and we just throw up our hands. And we're like, oh, it's all their fault. We're doing everything right, but, but you know, it, it's their fault. That's just, that's just the way things are. That's just how things are done. But what if we had more insight? Now, relationship managers, again, that, that's a tough, uh, that's, uh, it's not a tough number, but it's a larger number for a good reason, which is those are, these relationship managers are, are task heavy, right? That's, that's where they're managing customers and, and processes and, and um, you know, underwriter contact, right? And this is where we have your data. This is where we know um, on a carrier by carrier basis, who's easier and who's not easy to work with. And so we have to work with our staff. The importance of breaking this out and for every agent in the room, the, the importance of knowing this is now you can work with individuals on individual plans. Hey, Robbie, you're doing this role and you're working with these carriers. Here's what we have to overcome. You have to be more proactive here, more follow up, more calls, more emails, whatever it is, you got to stay on that process. It really helps us break down strategy for individual planning for performance, which is huge managing a team of service. We could take that behavioral data. Oh, there it is again. And instead of organizing it by person or by role in the service team, we could organize it by partner, by carrier, and we could start to see where those weak spots are showing up. And then once we understand where the weak spots are, we do one or both, two things. We do two things, we do both of them. One, we develop individual plans. So, hey, look, you're working with this partner, we're seeing some friction here, you're gonna need to stay on them more. Two, we bring that insight into conversations with our carriers, and I guarantee that will raise some eyebrows. Hey, look, we want to work with you guys. We love what your program. We love what you do and what you stand for and your mission, but we are meeting with some serious friction here, and it's making our relationship really tough. How do we solve for that together? The more efficient an agency can be, the more profitable it is. And the more insight that an agency has on their operations, the more efficient it can be.